Right, yeah, I did um, buy this place in Armadillo. It's above the saloon. It only costs like 50 bucks for a little room, so I can save my game there. Um, okay. <laughs> now, we're here for the stranger mission to follow up on the missing kid. Should be by the sheriff's office, the old lady. Is her? No? There's someone else. Hello? Mister. She's gone. Who? Who is? My wife. My wife. She's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. Why is everyone going by hanging rock? What'd the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Alright, I mean, the last time I looked for someone up there, though, it wasn't a good sign, you know? There was blood and bones. Yeah, this is like the same area, right? Pretty much, right? God damn, I'll go have another look. I mean, I'm not sure what else I'm meant to be doing here. Maybe I need to try and catch them in the act, right? I'm kill killing these people, these missing people. Beryl? Are you blood and bones? It maybe. Looks like it, right? Hello, Beryl. Damn, son. Literally got, like, obliviated, right? See her arm, a shoe, the hat? Is that all that's left of Beryl? American Appetite's complete again. These people have been eaten, right? Right. I guess that's why it's American Appetite's as well. They've been eaten by some sort of beast, I think. With what's been left, right? Like, just like guts and bones. It must be, surely. They've gone off to Hanging Rock and then they've been dragged by like a bear, probably, or something, right? Back to, to, to those places. Okay, I did say we could go see these strange missions, but... Do we want to do that as well? Should we see, see some more strange missions? Why not? Should we go see this stranger? Okay. There's a church? Is that where I'm going? Ooh. No? Are you a priest? You're all in white. Are you the Pope? Hello? Oh, dear, oh, dear. oh you're an old lady. Okay. Hello. Everything alright, madam? It's Miss... Oh. oh! Let me look at you. Creepy. My gentleman caller, you remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? No. I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. You get married? <laughs> so you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. Please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. John Marston, the taxi driver. All right, I'll go to Armadillo, but it sounds like maybe he's not there if I need to ask his whereabouts there. Right, excuse me. Some of those uh, gang members here, right? Top hats. Right, Peter, hello. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellas meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter. Did I start her? Peter, what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Oh, that'd be a jackass. And let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What's the errand? What do you need done? It's my wife. My wife? She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. 
Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Wait. Now you'll need more than talk for that bitch. I mean, can't I just pay you five dollars? It sounds like maybe she has reason for leaving you. Pay them as yeah. I, I ain't getting your wife back. You talk to her like that. You don't deserve her. Here's five dollars. Here. This might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Oh. Kind of a queer fellow and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? He dead? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellow's Rest. Right. Yeah. That's where he'd be, I'd guess. Okay, the old lady's uh, gone a bit cray cray. Bit deluded in the head, right, of old age. Are you coming in or not, buddy? <laughs> That'd be so dramatic. <laughs> okay, where's he want me to go? Somewhere rest over here, right? Let no man put us under. Okay, odd fellow's rest, sure. We can follow up on this now. Well, hello there. Hello there. Ah, oh, General Marston. Uh, hello. What the hell was that guy doing? Come on, easy up now. Is this a graveyard? Damn. How miserable. I'd hate to be buried here. I mean, I guess this whole place is pretty miserable, right? <laughs> Fucking desert. It's horrible. Okay. Which which one is his? Who who is this? Marlon? No. What does it say? No idea. This one at the back, is it? Peter Turner. Betrothed to Miss Alma Horlick. Killed by a blow to the head on the 15th of January 1894. He will never... something. 1894, so that's like what? What's, it, what's, the, what's the date? Is it like 1910 or, or something like that? You have earned a trophy. Strange things are afoot. Damn, that, that noise takes me back. PS3 trophy. Indication? Or what, what do I do now then? Is that it? Or do I want me to go back to the old lady? There is another strange mission here. Jenny's faith. Where's the old lady? She's gone. So what? I just leave her? Just leave her there? <laughs> okay. What's this then? Je Jenny's faith. None of my business. People shooting. They can have it out with each other. Don't need to intervene with every single gun that is fired out in the Wild West. Who am I, the Popo? No, I'm not. I am, however, a good Samaritan, apparently, helping out all these people. Are you okay? What are you doing down there? Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Howdy, miss. What are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. You okay? Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. Did he beat you up? I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh... I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. Yeah. Did faith do this to you? You're trying to move a mountain? Oh no, I, I can't do anything. But with faith I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kinda unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. You want to just suffer with heat stroke? The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Because you have faith? Well, take care then. <laughs> is that it? Help Jenny by bringing her medicine, okay. I think I already have some. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. 
Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. No, I <laughs> saved you. Excuse me? You see, it was only through his oh, will fuck off. that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. Can we take the medicine back, John? <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs> Jenny's faith complete. Can we take her with us? Where, where's the lasso? Does this work? Go on, Jenny. Let's go back to town. You shouldn't be here by yourself. How, how, what do I do? Can I pick her up? Octo. It's for your own good. Okay, we're gonna drop you off at the, um, I've committed a crime. No, I'm helping her. I'm, I'm helping her. It's not a crime to help a sick lady. I'm, I'm taking her to the doctors, okay? Damn it. Oh, come on, come on, guys! Come Stop! On, come on. Fuck. Guys, is this really worth shooting me over? You're gonna hit the woman. That one almost got me. God damn, they have quick horses. Barely keep out of their little circle. Big circle. Have you? You waited your whole life to be tired, hog tired on the back of a stranger's horse. Let's go. Excuse me. Let's go. Okay. Expect more lawmen to track you down until you pay the bounty off. All right. Um. Let's let's go to Armadillo. See if we can drop you off at the doctor's, Sherry, Jenny. Without me being caught again, I guess I probably will be. <laughs> you have an unpaid bounty on your head. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm here to see the doctor, not to pay off a bounty. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out the way! Man, move! I wanna go this way! Can't you see I'm the main character? What? Shut up, Jenny. You're, you're delirious. Shut up. Okay, Jenny, here we are. Let's drop you off inside. Doctor will help you now. Excellent to see you today. Hello, Doctor. I've got a patient for you. She's delirious. Can I drop her off here? Drop. Drop on the bed. Drop. 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 Okay, well, I'll just put her by, by your feet. How about that? Drop. Okay. Damn. There you go. Treat her as you see fits. Actually, I may need some more medicine. Why, hello. Hello. Some good tonics if you need them. Uh, sure. I'll just get one to replace what I had. Any trouble? Let me know. Yep. Look after Jenny. She's gone. <laughs> She's gone. Where did she go? <laughs> She's in heaven now. The angels have taken her. All right. Um, let's, let's pay off this fucking bounty. Pay off my bounty, and apparently there may be a bounty here to collect as well. Maybe like a wanted poster. Yo, fucking twenty dollars for for helping a, a sick woman? Ridiculous. Right, where was the newspaper? Hello. Good to see you're still walking after that poker game. Were you at a poker table? I actually came away with that with six dollars. I think that's why I was in a positive afterwards. What's in the newspaper then? Blackwater, Williamson Gang, Reign of Terror. Sure. Oh, it says something about Dutch in here. Maybe I'll read this. In events that hark back to our states not so distant and none too glorious past, a gang of thieves and killers is running amok across the western counties. Although New Austin has never been a place for the faint of heart, nor a place that encourages delicacy, law enforcement agencies are particularly worried about this new gang. Not since... Dutch Vandalin's crew was operating up in West Elizabeth, 
as a criminal group caused so much consternation nor gained so much publicity. Although cattle rustling and robberies are unfortunately still common through our region, the spate of killings, fires and burnings caused by Bill Williamson and his gang have shocked even the hardiest and most robust of local residents. Williamson, a career criminal and reprobate with a record running back to reform school, is himself believed to have once run in Vanderlyn's gang. Dutch Vanderlyn himself has not been seen nor heard from in several years, and despite claims of sightings, is thought to have perished in a fire following a bungled robbery in 1906. That's not true. With railway companies and other business interests pushing local and federal government bodies to aid economic development and investment by reducing crime, it is clear that action will be taken against this latest gang attempting to live the American dream outside of the law. Interesting, no one has seen Dutch, have they, for a good long time? They think he's been perished in a fire? Oh, what's this about tuberculosis? Tobacco fights tuberculosis. Everywhere that fresh air abounds, man knows nothing of coughs, cold, or lung inflammations. However, as man creates cities and is herded into factories, sweatshops, mires and mills, the soggy and unhygienic atmospheres spread the most deadliest of pulmonary diseases, tuberculosis. Dr. Charles L. Heldon says workers can disinfect themselves and protect against disease through regular smoking in the workplace. Is that true? I don't think that's true. Tobacco fights tuberculosis, you'd think that would be, they'd worsen it, right? That's interesting though that there is a thing in here about tuberculosis and they of course made Arthur die of tuberculosis, didn't they? Any, anything else here that's interesting that sort of um, relates to Red Dead 2 in some way? Don't want to read the whole thing. Or something about West Dickens here. The wonder tonic from the East, doctors worried about future. Users of a new medical tonic that is being sold in areas of New Austin have reported remarkable results. A one-legged woman in plain view grew back her missing limb and an elderly man close to death got up and run to the nearest brothel with the resumed vigour of a 14-year-old boy. Wes Dickens' patented elixir claims to effect an infallible and painless remedy to virtually all known human ailments, both internal, external and spiritual, including aches, sprains, dysentery, lumbago, ooh, Paralysis, chillblains, malaria, genital debility, rickets, and depressed humours. The tonic wishes the result of years of research combining ancient wisdom from the East and scientific investigations from universities across the land has been held by its distributor as the greatest medical discovery of our time. Sure, it's fucking snake oil, right? This is the guy who's missing. Wes Dickens. Could do that next, actually. Maybe. Maybe. People missing in Shola Springs. Yes, yeah, this is what I've been looking at myself, right? Several residents of Armadillo and the surrounding area have gone missing over the past few months in separate incidents, but none have yet turned up, either alive or dead. Local law enforcement bodies are urging residents to show extra caution when travelling in the backcountry on their own. Or when travelling at night. Sure. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here think relating to anything we're doing so far or to Red Dead 2. Interested. And there is also a wanted poster here. Hold to view wanted poster. Mo Van Bar, Wharton's gang. He is wanted for assault at the Hanging Rock. $80 alive, $40 dead. Sure. The bounty target was last seen near Hanging Rock. Oh, hello. What's going on? Is that him there? Who is this? What's going on? Hello? What's happening? <gasps> oh, go ahead. Is he tied up still? He's, he's dead. I killed him with the lasso. Well, take his knife. Look at the size of that knife. You call that a knife? Yeah, I call that a knife. Let me take it. Do I get- I can't take the knife. Can I get, like, a... Uh, something on the house? No? Okay. I'm not sure what really happened there. <laughs> I hit him with a piece of rope and he died. <laughs> okay, back to the hanging rock, I guess, for this bounty. Okay. 
nearing the target's last known location. You may choose to kill or capture the target. Well, we will try and capture him. But you never know what's going to happen on the job, do you? Is he around? Is he on the tree? Let's load the bounty target to capture him alive. Yep. I don't see... Oh, there's... Okay. There's quite a few here. Is he with a gang? Sure. They must be on the other side. I don't see anyone. Okay. 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 Wait, which one is he? I think it may be the one closest to me. Anything get closer, I can't see. Quite kind of uh, annoying if he is the one closest to me. Some I may have to kill him, right? How am I meant to grab him if um, all his friends are all... What am I doing with that rock? You really want to do this the hard way. You know I'm here, do you? I'm taking you in. Is there a guy up here? What, what? Is there a guy up here? Hello? Can you stop, man? I need it. I want the $80. That's it. Stallion getting away. Okay, let's take out the guy on this side. Ah, the, the climbing, um... There is no climbing, really, is there? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Now, I mean, before I shot him in the leg, right, and it allowed me to then lasso him, but maybe... Just straight up lasso. So I didn't have a lasso then, did I? No, I've got the horse! Oh, for Why is my horse following me around like that? Can I hitch my horse to like a tree? Right, you could do that in Red Dead too. So it just gets it out of the way. It's really irritating. They locked onto the fucking horse. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I didn't cover myself in any, any glory there. Anyway, pretty poor. Can I get rid of him? Just, just stay here. Stay there. I do have an. Can I do be more sneaky somehow? Maybe. Should try and be sneaky. I'm not sure if I can. Oop. Yep, never mind. Hello. Where are you, Mom? What? I'll try to get a gun out. That <laughs> uh, never was much for sneaking around, to be honest. Why have I put the gun away? <laughs> Did you think you were done, John? Fucking idiot. Right. Oh, God. Get off the holes. There we go. There we go. It's better. Come in with me. Oh! What? Get them! Oh, why am I so slow to get the fucking quick draw? You are so slow at drawing your gun, John. Ridiculous. I'd be extremely grateful for some compassion. What? You ain't get no compassion. You're going to jail. I'm going to collect $80. As long as no more of your friends turned up. I mean, how did they know? Anyway, you know? Right. Sheriff. You found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. No problem. You, what, you pay me in change, are you? Oh, is there another stranger here? About a missing person? Been enough time, has it? Who's, who is this now? Hello? You okay, lady? No, my my father's my okay. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores, and he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess, you went missing up in the hills? 
How did you know, mister? Just a guess. I'm sorry, Kick. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you, but people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh my god. If he's gone, then what'll I do? Find a new husband. We ain't got much money. And I'm with the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I mean, so far, all I can is, like, really not a lot, is it? <laughs> But does that say John in town pays twice as much? People have noticed of your honourable action. Oh, jobs in town. I was going to say, what they're charging me more because they like me. See what I mean? It, it, like, it's, it works in your favour to be good in this game compared to Red Dead 2. Right. Any bears? I mean, is this the environment for bears? Probably like a cougar instead, right? I guess. Or a pack of coyotes. Anyone here? There was actually someone here. Hello? Hello? For the love of all that is profane. Well, it failed because I pointed my gun at him. I didn't know who this guy was. That's bullshit. You okay? Careful, damn it. That's bullshit. Because I pointed my gun at him? Fuck off. That's bollocks. Is that is that just gone? That quest is gone. Quest failed. I, I guess maybe it'll pop up again. Another time? Or was it or was it gone already? Like forever? That's stupid. I didn't know who that guy was. I didn't shoot. Hello. Again. You okay? I mean you were fine when I pointed the gun at you, weren't you? So I guess you're fa faking it. Oh, 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 mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kinda creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. Hmm. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why won't you people just leave me alone? The hell? This is not what I expected. You're all crazy! But damn, damn it, John, run. I think I get a bit of a controller. Input lag at the moment. It's not. It's not registering my my button mashing of X. It's not doing anything. Come on, John, run faster, please. Maybe that's why it's a bit slow to draw sometimes because of lag. Because I would have thought it'd be quicker. Yeah, so I'm pressing right trigger a couple of times there as well. I didn't. Maybe my internet's dropped a little bit or something. I'm not sure what's happening there. It has been quite smooth up until then. Because, like, I've realised, like, even if I was to, like, um, use, like, a capture card, because I've got a PlayStation, but I have a PlayStation 4. Apparently, you can't even play this on a PlayStation 4 either. You have to play it on a PS3. Because uh, some games, right, are a backwards compatible, right? You can go on the like, PlayStation Store and just buy like, a PlayStation 3 title and play it on the PlayStation 4, no problem. You can't do that with Red Dead Redemption, to my knowledge. So even if I was to spend that, like, fucking hundred or quid on a capture card, which I wouldn't do. Come on, easy up now. Still wouldn't be able to do it because I don't have a PS3. Can't believe this is, like, the only way to be able to play Red Dead Redemption, really. For me, anyway. I don't think it's going to be getting, like, a remaster anytime soon. Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh. Hey, fella! <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister! Uh, this maniac tried to eat me! We got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please! Please! John, don't what? John? What? Don't just leave him to eat him? What the fuck? <laughs> what do you have on him? I'll cut you through in a minute, mate. So I knew he was a bit sus, right? <laughs> Hello. You are free. It's all right. Sorry about hog tying you and stuff. Would you like a ride back to town? No? There are more dangers out here in the world. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Guy, where are you going? Where's he going? Where's he going, horse? 
Put the knife away, John. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I don't know where he's going. Maybe he's going to McFarland Ranch? Where, where, what is headed out that way? Nothing, is it? There's nothing that way. <laughs> Maybe he was running away from his wife. Uh, I mean, it's not like Red Dead 2 where you can follow someone like about their life, right? It's probably just glitched or something. We just disappeared like it did with um, that body of Jenny that I took to the doctors. Where, where do I want to go? I guess I can go start going downwards now to Nigel West Dickens, right? The guy we read in the newspaper. There's another stranger mission here, which is kind of kind of grayed out, so maybe I have to come back at a different time. We can have a look, though. 